so in this video we are going to learn how to install Jenkins so to install Jenkins you have to navigate to this website jenkins.io forward slash download so once you have opened this site you you can see there are two options long-term support and weekly we would be downloading long-term support because that is a stable version and we will use uh, the war file so let's download it so the file has been downloaded let me place it to some other folder right so I'll open a command prompt and run a java jar command since this is a war file java jar jenkins dot war let's run okay so it has failed it's complaining that uh, the port 8080 8080 is the default port that Jenkins uses but uh, it's being used by some other application in my system so what I'll do is I'll change the port let's rerun the code I'll do java jar Jenkins dot war and let's pass an argument HTTP So as you can see, the, uh, the Jenkins server is fully up and running. So let's navigate to the Jenkins server. It's localhost 8085. Okay, so the page has opened. So as you can see, it's asking us to unlock Jenkins. So what we'll do is, we'll use the password that was created. This is the default password. Let's copy and paste the admin password over here and let's continue. So it will ask you to customize Jenkins. You can either go with install suggested plugins or plugins you, you want to select and install. I'll go with suggested plugins because most of them are useful over here. So it, it would take some time initially while installing all these plugins. So let's wait for it to complete the installation. So the installation is almost finished. It will automatically move to the next page once it's done. It will take some time. So now that the installation has been completed, it asks us to create a first admin user. So I'll create a username. It's uh, admin. And let's give that password as admin. Admin. Let's give some name. So once you have logged in, you have set the credentials this is the main screen that would appear during your first login so Jenkins gives you multiple options to manage your Jenkins so if you go to manage you can see there are variety of options to manage you can add or remove plugin you can configure your system you can configure credentials so there are multiple of options that Jenkins give you to manage and create a new pipeline and if, uh, you, if you want to create a pipeline you can use a new item so this was all about uh, downloading installing and configuring Jenkins in subsequent videos we'll see how to create a pipeline in Jenkins and specifically focus on creating pipelines for mule based application and deploying them on cloud 
so thanks for watching